Good afternoon, guys. I hope everybody is well. I'm going to literally talk you through all of the styling and all of the ways to actually use the styling with O&M and some of the key ingredients as well. I'm going to talk about steps um, and I'm going to introduce you to a couple of um, new products if you haven't seen them. And we're also going to have a look at a couple of little styling techniques as well. So let us kick off. Ultimately, we like to really think about what we're using on our hair, how we're using it, and keep it as simple as possible. So use your head is our motto. So when we talk about that, we want you to think about what you're using on your client's head, and we want them to actually think as well. So we are very transparent. We like people to ask questions, and we like to, any information that you want to know, what's in the products, we are very, very happy to provide. We're happy to sort of like, you know, teach you how to use them and all the little insider tips as well. And bridging the gap between natural and luxury is something that we like to always say because things can be good for you, but can also look beautiful, be pretty, and have sort of like, you know, a, an intrinsic van, value to them so that you look at them and go, oh, actually, that's something I want to have in my bathroom. So it's super important that not only should something be good for you, but it should look nice as well. That is my business partner up there, Josie. So she is the CEO of O&M. We started off in a salon together. Josie was the receptionist. Her husband or ex-husband was the stylist and I was the colorist. So all of our products have come from sort of the need with internally from a salon. It's something that's tested in salon, it's come from in salon. And we really do sort of like think about simple, easy ways to achieve everything that we need to achieve without sort of like making too many things that are too similar. We like it to be simple, clean, easy, and no nonsense. We always look at making sure that everything we do is cruelty free and Peter approved. We try and always look at sort of like making sure that there is no animal testing and no buying from anybody that does test on animals. Um, we have added to this range and we will keep on adding and changing the range as time goes on. As soon as something new becomes available, better products, like better ingredients, we're really happy to look at changing things so that we can really deliver and bring the best to market. Natural and free from, cruelty free and Australian made. All of our retail, oh, actually I'm gonna run back. Most of our retail is Australian made. The only thing that doesn't come from Australia um, are a couple of our products that come in canisters simply because we're unable to get the fill made within Australia. So that's why um, majority are actually made in Australia, but there are a couple are actually filled with in America. Social media, please look at using hashtags and Instagram tags that I've, I've got up on screen at the moment. Um, original mineral, core colour, holistic hair tribe, all of these are going to bring you into the family. So by tagging, we know what you're doing and we're all able to look at, you know, what is happening within our community. Same with Instagram, everything that you tag and you connect to us, what that will ultimately do is allow us to see you and you to see us. So you become one of the part of the family and that way questions and things like that you can ask us that way as well. But you can also reach the family that are, you know, stretch all over the world. So it really is bringing our team, our family all together. This three step method. This is one of the keys to everything to do with O&M. When we do our shampoos, we talk about three steps as well. When we style hair, it's super important you consider the three step method. This is something to use in salon and also super easy for clients to be able to take home and understand how to actually use the products and get the best out of them. Step one for us is always hydrate and that is always when we use No Not. No Not is our detangler. So ultimately, what you're doing is you're shampooing, conditioning, treating hair from there. When they're coming away from the basin or even at the basin, the O&M No Not is a brilliant product to use. Simply spritz it into the hair, comb through. It will alleviate knots super, super easy and nourish the hair. Step two is what we call our foundation. This is always done after we've taken about 70% of the moisture out of the hair. We never really apply any of our styling products to hair that is super wet or super damp or anything like that. We try and take out some of the moisture and then what that allows to do is the product will be more concentrated, have more strength and do a much, much better job. 
So hydrate, foundation, and finally, when hair is 100% dry and we're finished from there, that's when we add a finishing product. This is actually going to be the uh, final and the finish of the uh, blow dry. What it's gonna do is just finish off the seal in the ends. It's gonna add that shine. It's gonna add that little bit more oomph to the hair. So it's always hydra, foundation, and finish. What I'm gonna do is run through a little video very, very shortly. This is Amanda. So this is volume and shine, we've called this. So you can see this is what her finished result is like. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna step through to a little quick video that Janelle Chaplin, who is our, our Global Creative Director, she's created some of these videos for us, super easy how-tos, and it's featuring some of our new shine and volume shots. We seem to be having a few technical difficulties. I am so, so sorry about this. We ran through this and everything was perfect. And now obviously, um, unbeknownst to me, we have some technical difficulties how to do this. So this will actually be available online so you can actually see the video from there. So the key to this was how we use the shine shots. Uh, the shine shots, what we used to talking about first of all is the volume and shine. So this is one of our newest uh, to the family. It's a product that you're actually putting onto hair that's been shampooed and conditioned, and then you're applying it to hair that's been towel dried, sprinkling it through. It's a one shot. The reason we call them shine shots, it's a shot of shine, so it's a one use. If somebody has very fine hair, you can give this or use it a second time. They can take it at home to use, or it can be something that you keep and use on another client. So these are literally one shot, one go, instant. So it is literally something that will add super amount of shine and gloss to the hair. And there's really no other styling product needed. This is a leave-in styling product. One of the keys to this is the Lily Pilly. Um, it's a native Australian ingredient, which is super high in vitamin C. So it's super nourishing on the hair and it has a plumping and sort of like ultimately a filling agent to the hair. So as you can see, or well, unfortunately you couldn't see with the actual video, you'll see it was used so like all the way through. So she, it was applied and then the hair was blow dried and finished from there with nothing else added to it. So I'm actually gonna do another one very shortly and hopefully that one will actually be able to see the video all the way through. But if you can't, I will make sure that these, they are actually all up online. So you'll actually be able to have a look at them at a later stage. So I'm very, very sorry for this. But the key to our shine shots is this is a leave in and Lily Pilly is what is doing all the uh, work for us. Volume and shine, so what you actually saw through there was as I said before, she used the shine shot for the volume and that was all she really needed to use all the way through. If you wanted to get more out of this, you could actually use step two, you could actually put Rude Licious through there or a tonic and finish this with that uh, uh, Frizzylogic Shine Spray. But ultimately, what the key to it was here was all about using your volume shot, which will do 
ultimately the act of step two and step three, which is your rutilicious and your atonic. But at, finally for step four, I would always add a little bit of shine or something like that just to finish the hair because I really think that polishes the whole look and feel for the result. Now smooth and shine, again, the shots come in two different ways. So what we've done here with Stephanie is we've done another blowout, another style with her. Now, everybody out there, please keep your fingers crossed because I am going to see if we can make this work. I'm not magic, but I try and be magic sometimes. Shine shots, now it worked, yay. So fantastic, so shine shots. Ultimately, this is a smoothing shot for the hair. The difference with this is you actually don't condition the hair, you apply this to damp hair, leave it for two to five minutes, then you rinse it out. So this one does not stay in the hair. This has macadamia oil in it, which is why it's gonna be nourishing for the hair, but it's also gonna to help to smooth and really seal that cuticle. The weight of it is the reason we actually rinse it out because it is quite a heavy treatment. So it is gonna have a smoothing agent and you actually don't need to condition afterwards. So this is a rinse out. That's the difference between the two. One is leave in, one is a rinse out. And for Stephanie, as you can see, we use the smooth and shine shot. What that's basically replacing in many is gonna be your no knot and your atonic. So those two products are actually being replaced by the smooth and shine shot. So they're doing two in one. And then finally, what we did use to finish was Queenie. As you could see that Janelle actually sprayed it onto the brush, combed it through the hair to really settle the hair and make sure that so like the style was to stay in place. One of the keys that you don't always see with when we're styling hair is the amount of time between actually finishing the style and brushing it out. A lot of times, I see this happen all the time, is that people are brushing hot hair or hair that hasn't cooled down. Always allow your style to cool down. The longer you allow it to cool down and then brush it through, the longer it will actually last. Heat it up, cool it down, it will give you a much, much longer lasting style and really just sort of like by heating it and then cooling it, the shine gets even better as well. So really do sort of like allow time for things to cool down because it will make a big, big difference to your end result. 
So as I was saying before, what we always start off with is the, the nourishment side and it's no knot is what we use. So no knot is ultimately a detangler. I would always advise spritzing this in at the basin because it can be a little bit oily on floors. I know that sounds crazy, but I have seen it a bit slippery on floors. So this is a, the key to, is to put it in at the basin area and comb it through. This is great on little girl's hair. This is great on any hair that is super knotty. You know how little girls always complain about brushing or combing their hair? Spritzing this through the hair, super, super easy to detangle. This is great at the beach when you've been in the salt and things like that. Rinse the hair with fresh water, put this in, and it almost acts like a, a super leave-in nourishing conditioner. Uh, it's super hydrating, detangles anything, O&M Signature Oil Blend is this, which is coconut and macadamia, both 100% certified organic coconut and macadamia oils. We have Kwandong, Desert Lime, and Pro Vitamin B5. So what these are all designed to do is nourish the hair, condition the hair, and also with the Pro Vitamin B5, that's what we actually use as well to actually guard against UV damage, simply because we're an Australian company. So a lot of what we're all about is guarding against sunlight. It's super warm, super hot in, in Australia, in a lot of places in Australia. So by this, it's actually going to help to lock in your colour, stop the colour from being bleached out by the elements like pollution, sunlight, things like that. A tonic, which is our thickening spritz. So this is going to fall into our second part. So once you've actually taken 70% of the moisture out of the hair, this is what you're gonna put into the hair to actually help to give it some volume, to thicken the hair through. It's not gonna give you super volume, it's gonna be medium. So we do have something which is gonna give you super volume. But the Atonic is also gonna act as a heat protectant. One of my favorite products in here is actually the Keep Key, is the P Keratin. So what this is actually helping to do is strengthen the hair, fight the frizz and really help to rebuild. So the atonic is a thickening spritz. It's gonna lay around the outside of the hair and give that strength that you need when you're doing a blowout. Organic coconut oil in here is also one of the key factors. Uh, David's on a plum and Lily Pilly. Lily Pilly is featured quite heavily because it is something that is rich in vitamin C um, and collagen. So what we're always trying to do with products is help to plump the hair and, re and repair the strength and the nourishment for everything that we do when we're blow drying. Um, the pH is between a five and a six. So everything you will see on, our, on the back of our containers, you will actually see there's gonna be a shine factor, there's gonna be a hold factor, and then something that you can actually get and share with your clients too, is sort of like the pH. And this is something that really for hairdressers is, is key, just so we know what it's gonna be doing to the hair and the conditioning factor that it actually has. So a tonic, is ultimately our thickening spritz. Um, it's not gonna be as strong as our Rudelicious, but it is certainly going to build up in the hair and give you some volume lift. I like to use this on sort of finer hair, or if you really wanna build up a lot of strength in the hair and really get some like uh, volume through there, you can actually layer this in. So when the hair is 70% dry, you'd spritz it through, keep blow drying, and then maybe at 90% blow dry, put a little bit more in, and that will give you even more lift and volume from there. Rudelicious, this is our most volumizing product. So this is designed as a, a root lift, but can also be used through the ends. Personally, I like to use it roots to ends because I like big hair, the bigger the better for me. So with this, Rudelicious is something that I like to really layer into the hair, roots to ends. I spray it almost like I'm spraying um, a lot like sevens into the hair like do it in lines of sevens and then what that will actually do is help to volume and and build up the hair um, ultimately the kwandong is what is really sort of like nourishing the hair but again the lily pilly is adding a lot of collagen so that's going to plump the hair this can also be used as you would like a, a regular mousse so it's ultimately can be sprayed into the hand and then deposited that way i like to think of this across as a cross between a mousse and a gel. So it is really going to give a lot of strength to the hair and something you can use a round brush with and really sort of like, you know, pull through the hair and give that sort of ultimately Miss America, that big volume hair. If somebody has quite fine hair, you might be better to stick to the atonic because this is going to have sort of like quite a lot of fullness to it. So sometimes it may be feel a little heavy on the hair. The key, 70% moisture out, then actually putting this through, you will get a 
thousand times better result than if you actually put it into very damp hair because what you're doing is you're not diluting it as much. So that's the Rudelicious, uh, one of my keys to big hair. Surf Bomb, this is a sea salt spray. What I will say to this is anybody that actually has had keratin in their hair, this is not advisable to use because it does actually contain sea salt. Sea salt will actually remove keratin from hair. So this is for me something that if you want somebody to have a more lived in, a more beachy type of feel, this is the way to go. Something I love about this is it's not a shiny product. It almost has a mattifying effect to the hair. So it makes the hair look a little bit more lived in. It's not so polished or super shiny. It's a little bit more rock starry, a little bit more sort of a, a on the town sort of feel to it. So again, sea salt, UV protectors. So this is actually something that is great for actually wearing at the beach as well. If you want to create even more texture in your hair after a day at the beach, what you will actually do is spritz this through and then you will find that the volume will sort of like, you know, cut, it will pull the curl up because it does have the sea salt in there. Uh, cucumber extract is in there as well, which is a nourishing effect on the hair. But please note that this is not designed to be shiny. It is designed to be more sort of like of a, a mattifying, a more rock star lived in sort of feel. So when clients want to sort of like create more grunge to their hair, this is the way to go. And something that I think this is absolutely brilliant for is if somebody comes in with hair that they're, you're trying to style, put up or do an updo or, or you know do a French roll or, or anything like that, this is brilliant because what it almost does is adds texture and grit to the hair. So you're actually able to then style it and put it up. Hair that's too clean, we all know is crazy hard to try and do something with. By spritzing this through onto dry hair and then sort of like blasting it with a little bit more heat, what it will do is dry into the hair and so I give it a little bit more texture and then allow you to very, very easily put the hair up and style the hair from there. Style Guru, this was one of those funny products that sort of took me a little bit of, of time. People loved it. I was never the world's biggest fan, but what really made me change my mind is when I started to use it onto curly hair, this was almost like a vitamin E cream for the hair. So I felt that it was nourishing the hair. It was helping to sort of like, you know, restore the shape of curl to the ends of curl. Sometimes curls can be dry through the ends, but I don't want to make it crispy, but then I don't want to make it look sort of like greasy or anything like that. So what this will actually do is almost be like a vitamin E repair cream to the hair at the very, very ends. I've also used this a lot in bobs. One of my favorites for bobs is that sort of like, hair just through the ends, you just want to thicken it out that little bit and nourish it, but I don't really want to weigh it down too much. So I'm really going to put one pump, which is a very small amount, just like on the ends of my fingertips, work it through my ends and then blow dry it through. And then for curly hair, I can actually scrunch this through. Or if I really want to create a great curl, I will put this onto um, damp hair and then I will comb it through, then re like, activate the curl that way and then I can use a diffuser through from there. That's one of my key products when I'm doing a curly hair uh, person with using the styling cream. This is really, really beautiful on the hair. Vitamin A, E, the shea butter, again our coconut oil, so nourishing on the hair but really won't make it oily or greasy or anything like that because to me I don't like hair that looks sort of like too heavy or weighted down. So your styling cream is beautiful for that. Also really, really lovely on shorter hair. If you're just using it through the roots, it can work a treat like that. And something else I've been playing with a lot, and I suppose for me, sometimes I need to see it to believe it. I've been using it for a while, but then another trick I found with this is this is brilliant when I'm doing a uh, comb back hair. So if I'm doing a high pony or something like that, this will actually help to settle the hair and really give me that sleekness without it being sort of like too oily or too heavy. It's just a really beautiful product for sleeking down hair as well. So there's a multitude of uses, anywhere from curls to sleek feels, and really great for blow drying in and filling out your ends. Absolutely amazing. And the shea butter and the coconut oil is where the real key comes from here. Some of our newer products, and this is our Dry Queen. This is our true dry shampoo. What is in here that actually helps with that is the rice starch. So this actually helps to absorb the oil. We've got Kwandong and again, Lily Pilly. So it's nourishing the hair. So you've got nourishment 
as well as something which is actually helping to absorb the oil. I think this is an amazing product when you actually use it in the correct way. I've seen so many times people using dry shampoos and they're not used the right way. Don't hold it too close to the scalp. Spray it through in a, a motion where you're sort of like, you know, moving your hands so it's not all directed in one spot. And then one of the other things which I have found has been brilliant is if you rub it, massage it in with your fingers, or even if you have a brush, you can actually brush it into the roots, it's almost spread it because what that will actually do is help to move it a little bit up through the um, mid lengths to ends and help to work on all of the hair. This is something you can use a couple of times a week, but again, if you take it away, a little bit away from the scalp, you will get a much better result. Directly onto the scalp, you won't get a, a brilliant result. Further away, massaging it in will give you a much, much better end result. With the Dry Queen, or the, you could actually also use this through your mid lengths to ends. I think it's a great idea to throw the head upside down, spritz it through, and then you can scrunch it in and then comb or restyle from there to take out the oil. But remember, this is designed to sort of like nourish and remove the oils as well. So it's almost like a two in one in that respect. It's not going to have that super drying effect on the hair, but it will actually have uh, the ability to remove the excess oils from the hair. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is Desert Dry. So what I found a lot of times with dry shampoos is that people sort of like find that they can flatten the hair down too much. We've been lucky with Dry Queen, it doesn't have that flattening effect. But what we've combined here is basically a, almost like a dry shampoo and a texture, a texture spray as well. So we've called it Desert Dry. So it's a dry texture spray that will volumize hair, but give it hold as well. Important with this, spray it away from the hair. Don't spray it too close. This can almost be like a weightless uh, hairspray for hair. So this has so many multitude uses. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am with this product. The smell is amazing, and it really does give you sort of like a dry finish to the hair. Again, if hair is too clean, you can spritz this through and this works as well to be able to sort of like get that texture in the hair and to get it up. Remember with this product, a little bit goes a long way, but it is one of the, you know, the newest products to our range, but it's something that people absolutely love. As soon as you start to use it, you, you'll get this like um, awesome sort of finish to the hair. Um, and as a, as a, also using it as a hairspray, it is brilliant because some people don't like the feel of that hairspray. Sometimes hairsprays can feel a little bit wet to begin with when in a mist, but this is going to have a real dry effect. So it's beautiful without being uh, mattifying on the hair. It doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look matte. It just has a, a, a natural finish to it all. Lily Pilly and Kwandong are really what are powering this product and help to keep it like working. Uh, super light mist. So you'll see when you start to spray it through, it has a super fine mist. So it can be used on even the finest of hair to even the thickest heads of hair, no problems at all. We have a few tub products in our range. One of them being sea paste because it called it uh, sea paste oak ultimately because it does have a really beautiful coconut smell to it. And coconut is what is actually powering the product. It is a pliable fiber. So you will get almost that texture coming through the hair. It is a shiny product. This, we have two products. We have the K gravel and the sea paste. Sea paste is our shiny version. So this can actually go into hair that is slightly damper, really brilliant on shorter hair, or for longer hair through mid lengths to ends as a nourishment. So it will give a little bit of texture, a little bit of hold, um, and a small amount goes a very, very long way. So for shorter hair, apply it closer to the roots. For longer hair, mid lengths to ends, absolutely beautiful. We, what you will also find with this product is that it is water soluble. So it is not, a lot of people find that tub products can be weighty on the hair. And what you'll also, what a lot of people also complain about is they last in hair. All of our products are 100% water soluble. So they go in and out super, super easily. You're not gonna have a product that builds up and you've got this like mess in the hair or it's like, oh, I'm a bit flaky and things like that. All of our products got wash in and wash out super, super easily. So don't have a problem about build up or anything like that. If you want it to build up, 
you know, you can keep on applying it over, but ultimately when you want to change, you can shampoo it out super, super easily. It can be used on dry hair as well if you want to create a little bit of shine or even more texture. So this is almost like a, a heavier version of a shine or a, a shine spray or a shine drop. So this is the sea paste powered by coconut. That's why we called it sea paste. K gravel. If you were thinking of surf bomb in a tub product, this is what it would be. K gravel is our texture clay. It has a mattifying effect on the hair. It is not shiny. So again, this is more of a rock star sort of feel because it's not a glossy, shiny product. It has more texture to it. It is designed to sort of like really be able to form styles and shapes and hold them. It's not super sort of stiff or anything like that. The hair will still move a little, but it is going to have quite a lot of hold to it. Jojoba seed oil, we have mineral kaolin. So this is another, uh, it's a mineral based clay. So that's what's giving it its hold. You'll also find the um, kaolin in our um, powder lighteners and things like that. So this is a, a multitudinal use of a product as far as the uh, kaolin goes. This is something a small amount goes a long way. This is my the product that I use in my hair every day. I put it into damp hair, comb it into place and allow it to dry. The more that you put in, the more texture you'll actually build through. But again, the key to this, and please remember, it is not designed to be shiny. It's designed to be more mattifying and more rock star sort of feel to it. So it's not designed to look um, overly done. This is what I always like recommend for guys that don't want to look like they've got a lot of product in their hair, because what it will actually do is give them like a day old looking hair so they don't feel that it's too done. And for women, I always find that this is a really great product. If you want some more root levels, like root um, lift, you can put it on in the, the crown, mush it through with your fingers at the very crown, and it will actually help to give you that texture to give a little bit more bounce, a little bit more lift through there. Really, really fantastic product. Um, and remember, water soluble again. So it's not gonna build up in the hair. You're not gonna have this sort of like over, like feel of like, products that you can't actually remove. One shampoo, it's out, super, super easy. It's it's one of those products that like once you start to play with it, you'll love it. Here is one of our most phenomenal product uh, products, Project Sucuro, the gold smoothing balm. This is one of those things that until you try it, you don't really sort of like believe the benefits that it will do. What it is, you're putting it through, and this is, probably a little step away from everything that we normally talk about. This is something that goes on to damp hair and you start to blow dry this into with from damp. So you're only probably gonna take about 30 or 40% of moisture out of the hair. Then you're gonna put this in and start blow drying it through. It's heat activated. So what you're wanting to do is lock it in with the heat and then at the very end when your hair is 100% blow dried, then you're actually gonna apply a little bit more onto dry hair and iron it in. It is then going to be the most amazing feeling product. What you're finding is you've got your keratin in there, our signature oil blend, and the Gold of Pleasure oil, which is a nourishing pro uh, product, which is actually super, super rich in omega-3 um, acids or a fatty acids, which what that will do is help to repair and strengthen the hair. It's almost like a keratin treatment that gets blow dried into the hair. This was designed, if anybody's ever seen Japanese pottery that has sort of like the gold um, lines through it, th that's about repairing um, hair or repairing China with gold. So what we're doing with this is we're actually repairing hair with our golden balm, which is Project Sakurai. So it is super, super nourishing, great for blow drying hair smooth, great for repairing hair. And this is also something that can be put into sort of a curly or wavy hair if you just wanna let it dry on its own. Put it in, comb it through, re-scrunch or reshape the hair, and then just allow it to dry on its own. Super great too if people have had keratin treatments and they just want that little bit of a boost to help you know bring the keratin treatment back. This has got the keratin in it, which will help to like strengthen the hair and almost rebuild that keratin treatment that they've had. And anybody that's had hair extensions, this is brilliant to put on the ends. Sometimes the ends of hair extensions after a little bit of time cannot look amazing. This will actually bring back the strength and that luster of hair to any extension hair as well. So Project Sakura, a small amount goes a very, very long way. 
What I will say with this is once you hit it with heat, the smell is just beautiful. It has this really um, rich floral smell to it, which people go crazy for. That's Project Sakurai. Remember, a small amount goes a long way. Heat activated. So when you're heating it with a blow dryer, you're pushing it in. But then also if you can go back through and iron it in as well, you will get almost like this extremely amazing repairing treatment to the hair. And that's the Project Securai. Original Queenie. This is a firm hold hairspray, but please note it is super pliable. You can actually brush it through, no problem at all. If you overuse it, you can brush the hair through and it's not going to go stiff. One of the most amazing product uh, things about this product is that you know the more you the more you layer it through, the stronger the hold will be. It is firm without being stiff, so you can actually shape the hair, comb through or brush through, and then you will actually then be able to sort of like see the shape stay, but it won't be stiff. It won't look like sort of like it's been plastered down. Uh, I would always suggest, you know, not spraying it too close. It's a fine mist, so it just needs to touch the hair. It doesn't need to be directly on. If you spray it too close, you will actually get sort of like, you know, a sticky feel to the hair. I always like to spray this onto a brush as well and then spray and then actually spray it onto the brush, then comb it through to set the shape from there. Allow it to cool down before you comb it through or brush it through, and then you will really get this amazing effect from it. Obviously, the more you apply, or as I said before, the more you apply, what you will find is that it will hold even more so. So throwing the head upside down, spritzing it through or spraying it through, it's a very fine mist. One thing I, I have noticed is every so often you might find that the, it gets a little bit cloggy through the thing. Take it off, rinse the, uh, the spritzer or the spray part, and then it is good to go again from there. This has been one of our biggest sellers because it actually is super easy to, to comb through the hair, brush out of the hair, won't be all flaky and white on the shoulders either. So this is Original Queenie. It is firm hold. It will build up. Frizzy Logic is one of our serums. So this has been sort of like probably the hero product of our range uh, since day one. It is a magnificent product to use when you're wanting to add shine, defrizz, um, even sort of like activate curls and things like that. What's actually in it is uh, cold breast um, argan oil, which is organic. Then we have our uh, signature oil blend, again, which is organic. So this is our macadamia and our coconut oil. And we actually have vitamin E oil as well. So it is super, super rich product. A little bit goes a long way. This comes in various sizes. So it comes in sort of like a pump and a drop, depending on how you like to do it. I always make sure I put it onto my hands, work it through my hands first, and then apply it to the hair. This can go into damp hair. This can go into dry hair. If you're doing a straight, stick straight blowout, this is amazing. Mid lengths to ends, it will help to sort of seal the hair. It locks in moisture, locks out moisture, almost like an anti-humectant or humectant in that respect. So you're keeping the moisture in and keeping the moisture out. Uh, if it's onto dry hair, it will tame frizzies, get rid of any flyaways, anything like that. Brilliant. And anytime you're wanting to like, you know, get through a blow dry super quickly, because of the oil factor, these are dry oils. So what they will actually do is nourish the hair but help to sort of like repel moisture. So you're actually gonna to help to cut down your blow, try, blow dry time for that. Uh, really great on hair if you're wanting to just like do something, a quick style, you can actually twist it through the hair and it will help to form a really beautiful like shape through there. Again, small amount goes a very, very long way. And one of the things I really love to do with this also is if clients have a seven day miracle at home, you can add a couple of drops of your frizzy logic into that and it will almost make your treatment super, like even more nourishing. So you're adding even more sort of like nourishment powder to your treatments with a, like a double whammy of your Frizzy Logic drops as well. So it has a multitude of uses like that. This is something that I sort of like, will, I think you will find that once you start to use it, uh, the results are unbelievable because it really does uh, uh, so many different tasks. Frizzy Logic, for those that are heavy handed, what we've done is we've designed a spray. So this is for some, uh, this is a very fine mist that you can actually just mist through the hair. 
this does have a little bit more hold. So our physiologic drops don't really have any hold to them. Whereas you will find with our physiologic spray, it does have a small amount of hold to it. It helps to sort of like lock the humidity out. So you're going to keep your style in for longer. Uh, but super important that it can be sort of like, you know, misted into the hair, super fine. If somebody has finer hair that they want stick straight, spritz this through or mist this through and then blow dry it in. It is going to be slightly lighter than our physiologic drops. So it is going to be for finer hair. It's for anybody that it may be heavy handed with like putting product into their hair. This is the key way to go. So cold pressed argan oil, uh, macadamia oil. So it's still super nourishing. It is sort of like a dry oil. So it's not going to weigh the hair down and make it oily or anything like that. But again, it is going to be lighter than our physiologic drops with a little bit of hold. So anybody that hates hairspray, this is a really brilliant way of setting the hair, adding shine and gloss to the hair, but adding a little bit of hold to the hair. So that is our physiologic the, uh, shine spray. The way to differentiate the both, this comes in a rose gold box and our physiologic uh, pump comes in a gold box. So that's the two when you see them on the shelves. Now we're going to have a look at volume and shine. This is another finish by Janelle Chaplin and this is Rachel. So we are going to keep or I'm going to keep my fingers and toes crossed so that we can actually see this video. And this is, here we go. Okay. Guys, I am so sorry about this. Obviously, volume and shine does not want to be seen today. So again, this will be up so you can have a look at the actual style that, I've, that has been done by Janelle um, and how to actually achieve it. We use the volume and shine shot here, which was basically taking the steps of a tonic and surf bomb. And then what we did do was we finished off with Queenie again here. But the volume and shine shot, this is something that is just an amazing, you know, one use or a couple of, we call it a shot because it can be used once or you can get a couple of uses out of it depending on how thick or, or fine the hair is. I tend to sort of like find that I like to use all of it. And if the hair is sort of like um, on the medium to thicker, you're definitely going to be able to use one. If it's super short or super fine, then you probably get two uses out of it. But these are salon only. These are not really retailable to sell for clients to take home. These are salon only. So the shots come in two forms. Uh, but what we did was we used the volume and shine, and that was basically taking step two and step three, which was your tonic and your surf bomb, to achieve uh, the results that we got. But then again, we did finish off with Queenie from there. That is basically all the retailing that we have with O&M and all of our key products. So it's a super simple range, super easy to use and designed to sort of like for clients to be able to always think about the three steps. When we use it on our clients, we're thinking three steps. When we're gonna send them home with products, we always let them know three steps, your nourishment, your foundation and your finish, which is not too hard for anybody, for, you know, for them to remember. Sometimes they come back and say, oh, I got the products, but I forgot. If they always think about there's the nourishment, the foundation, the finish, it is going to make your life so much easier and their life so much easier. Always think about getting the moisture out, 70% of the moisture out. Taking that out before you apply your foundation will make your products work better because you're not diluting them with all that extra moisture in the hair. A couple of the other things I'd just like to quickly discuss today is, you know, today is all about simple you know retailing how to talk to clients about it the key products that are in there and what they actually do most clients want the simplest possible so that's what we're doing the second what we're talking about for us as hairdressers is the holistic hair tribe partner program what this is designed to do is make you money so by setting up everything you register you are going to your dashboard then you're sharing your referral link you're actually directing clients as to what products they should be using, but they're going to your website to be able to find and sort of like work out how to purchase. 
then we ship the products directly to them. And then from there, you're actually getting a commission on everything they buy. So it means that you don't actually have to keep stock in salon, but you're still getting the benefit from there. And lastly, before I go, everybody, show us your core nudes. Don't forget, please stay in contact with us. Send us all your, all your photos for the nudes. Hashtag show us core nudes. And we're going to be finding a winner or looking at some of them have been amazing. So we're going to be looking for a winner and that gets announced next month. So please, happy retailing, happy playing with all the O&M products. Um, and please, hashtag show us your core nudes uh, because I love to see what you're doing. Uh, Thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me or a little bit of the afternoon with me. Um, I look forward to hearing from you, um, seeing everybody online. Uh, Wayne at originalmineral.com is my email if you want to send me any questions from there. Um, I haven't seen any questions up online, but I'm available to answer anything from there at any point. So please remember at o &M, what we really are trying to do is make life easy for you and for your clients. And everything that we do is all about keeping everything beautiful, clean, and simple. So guys, thank you very much from me. I'm Wayne Lewis. I'm signing off for this afternoon. And I hope to see you all again when education reopens. If not, we are working on education online as we speak. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Keep out of trouble. And again, happy coloring. Bye.